This video is a demonstration of passive manual mobilization for the elbow joint for flexion and extension physiological movement. Usually, it is required for the rehabilitation after prolonged immobilization or surgical rehabilitation. And for flexion and extension, we stay in the position, the patient lying down. We can do it sitting or standing. For the hand hold, make sure one hand is stabilizing the elbow, one hand is on the wrist joint, not on the hand because same thing, we don't want excessive movement. We just stabilize the wrist joint. For the flexion, face the patient and do the flexion bending is very straightforward. Then to the very end range, it's still the same. We do the mobilization towards the end range. What is the very end range and functional? Then come back with the good side. Usually, I tell the patient that the fingers can touch the, your own collarbone, own shoulder. This is considered as a full. Then also, some minor tips usually we do in this way is the palm facing out is anatomical and functional position we do in this way. But for some sportmen, they may need to do in the way that use the pronation instead. Depends on the functional demand. But for most of the general public, either do in neutral position or palm facing out position and anatomical position. This is good enough. For the extension, for the initial range is quite similar to position and handhold. We can do it this way. Sometimes we can add some soft tissue massage okay, to the bicep as well. But to the end range, we will see. If I add the very over pressure, look at the shoulder first. If I add the very over pressure of the extension, a lot of restriction, you will see the shoulder coming out. Then a lot of movement will go to the shoulder in center of the elbow. So what we do is that the last 10 degrees, a lot of stiffness, then we one hand stabilize on the shoulder, avoid the shoulder hemorrhoid coming forward. The other hand stabilize the elbow here, then do the extension in this way instead. Same thing according to the functional demand, we do the palm supination position, neutral position or pronation position according to the functional demand. This is the demonstration of the passive mobilization for the elbow joint.